my practical <laughs> joke to Wild Grimey. A dead dog, that's so mingy. I wonder what I want. One open guy. Oh, and it's one me! Close it's me! Oh. <laughs> oh, a box full of bees. He's well stung, man. Romo Lottery Millions is pragtastic. I've even made the ticket bit more exciting. I fire them from catapults and the crowd have to scramble to get them. Only sometimes I put some poisonous snakes in as well. <laughs> Play my pranktastic Romo Lottery Millions. It's well random, dog. Warning, being bitten to death by poisonous snakes or being trampled to death may result in death. Most death. Not everyone liked Alagabalus' sense of humour, and like many emperors, he ended up being murdered in Rome. To avoid the same fate, Emperor Tiberius moved to the island so? of Capri, but he still lived in fear of assassination. Emperor Tiberius of Rome, I have received word from the gate there is a man here to see you. I took him hats off because I couldn't go. Tiberius? And then he put him. Is he an assassin? No. You sure he's not going to try to kill me? I mean, the only reason I came to the island of Capri was to get away from all the assassins. No, he's not here to kill you. He's here to welcome you. He's got you a nice present and everything. Okay, I'll show him in. Great Emperor Tiberius, I have brought you a gift. It is this fish. <gasps> Guards! Guards! This man's going to try to kill me with this fish. What? Did you say fish? He's going to use a fish to cut up on my guts, and then he's going to cut off my head. And then he's going to shove my guts down inside my neck, and then he's going to use my head to play tippy uppy, and then he's going to throw me into the sea. Seize him! Wait a minute, I wasn't. This is just a dead fish. It's it's a gift. Take the fish and rub it on his face. What? Yes, Emperor. So is this. Mm. See? The scales are taking his face off. I told you it was a dangerous fish. Make him kiss it. Yeah, kiss it. Good. And hit him with it. Seriously. I'll teach you, won't it? Mm. Oh. I'll tell you what. It's a good job I didn't bring in the massive crab. I don't see that. What? Bring me this massive crab. I didn't mean it. It's a, it a joke. I was just... Pinch his nose with it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'll do like ten eggs, eh? I'll teach you to be a nasty assassin, would it? I should have just brought flowers, really. Oh. Mr. Batman. Well done, guys. That's true. Paranoid Tiberius really did rub that man's face with a fish. And he wasn't the only scaredy cat emperor. Oh, no. Domitian had the walls of his palace polished like mirrors, so he could always see people sneaking up on him. Ah. I'm no scaredy cat, though. I'm petrified of them. Mum, how do I put you Smashing Saxons. The Saxon weather forecast with Edwin Grubby Peasant. Hello, and welcome to the Saxon weather forecast, where we use the most reliable Saxon superstitions to predict the weather. Off the coast of Wales, dolphins have been spotted leaping out of the water, which of course means gale force winds are to follow. Good news up in Scotland, however, where we've seen some red sky at night, so expect calm weather there. That's assuming the red sky wasn't actually a monastery on fire after a bad night. Over in Kent, some splashes from oars have been spotted glittering on a night voyage, which of course can mean only one thing, there's a storm brewing. Now don't forget on Sunday there was a thunderstorm, bad news for any monks or nuns watching, as that means some of you are going to die. And on Wednesday, there's also going to be thunder, which is unfortunate for lazy women, as it means they're going to die too. Well, that's about all we've got time for, so have a nice week, unless you're a nun and you're lazy, in which case you're totally stuck. Good. We Saxons really believe all that. What a superstitious bunch, eh? We were terrified of ghosts, and we had some funny ideas about how to keep them at bay. Hello, darling. Hello. Well, we don't have to worry about ghosts anymore. I, I wasn't worried about ghosts. <gasps> what have you done? Burnt all our crops. Every last field. Apparently it's the uh, new Saxon way to keep ghosts at bay, so no more ghosts for us. Yeah, 
Schade. Und dann noch viel. Oh yeah. I haven't really thought this through, have I? <laughs> at, least, uh, at least when I die of starvation, I won't be able to haunt anyone. Oh, you won't die of starvation, my love. Because I'm going to kill you first, oh. you idiot! Oh, that hurts! All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anglo-Saxon famine solutions. Number one, eat a tree. Yes, when crops failed, Saxons filled out their flour with tree bark, wild grass, and even stinging nettles. Number two, eat the dead. What's in this juice? It's a family recipe. Where's Granny gone? Number three, for fewer mouths to feed, sell any children under the age of seven. Sell him! Sell her! No, sell him! He's like a boat. Jump off a cliff. Are you serious? It is what 40 villagers did in Sussex. It's a bit drastic. You've got any wow. other suggestions? You're right, it's a terrible idea. Uh, don't How about number five? Time. Become the lord of the manor's it's slave so he has that. to feed you. Her oh, that sounds better. Him. Oh, lord, I pledge to be your slave and will do anything you ask. Brilliant. Right, first job then. Clean up the onions and we'll eat. <clears throat> Actually, I think I've lost my appetite. Oh, oh. Awesome, yeah. USA. Howdy, partner. American yeah. history is pretty horrible, too. We had our fair share of fights and battles and our fair share of <laughs> stupid deaths. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths. They're funny because they're true. Woo. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths. Oh, next time. Could have dinner. He wouldn't mind. Yeah. Next! And you are? My name is Clement Vallandingham, Yana. I'm a criminal lawyer. Well, come on then. Entertain us with your death. The stupider, the better. Well, sir, I was an expert in criminal law, and uh, one day I was defending a man who was accused of shooting right, someone sure dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, very interesting. Not. Yeah. I wanted to prove that the dead man had, in fact, accidentally shot himself. Now, I was demonstrating this to my legal team. I drew out my pistol, fell to my knees. Yana, I did not realize my pistol was loaded. Go on. <laughs> Sir, please don't let me say this. Oh, we're all ears now. I accidentally shot myself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's, that's not funny. Very oh, serious. Yes, it is. Did you get me complete? I should have consulted with the judges on it. No, I know. Oh, come on, Louis. Get a sense of humor. That's two yeses. You're through to the afterlife. Well done. Thank you very much, Yana. Ma'am. Off you shoot. <laughs> Oh, you shoot. Did you hear? I know I'm wicked. I really am. <laughs> stupid death, stupid death. Hope next time it's not you. <laughs> Clement Vallandigan's accident there did prove his client to be innocent. And Clement to be very, very stupid. It was a pretty tragic thing to happen. But what part is tragic is this? Dodgy war tactics number 23. During long back of the American Civil War, the Yankee soldiers were having a real problem getting past the rebel Confederate troops. But then one general had a brilliant idea. Why not go under them? The Yankees had hundreds of coal miners fighting for them, so they just dug a tunnel right under the rebels. They packed it full of gunpowder, lit the fuse, and blew up their enemy. The plan had worked perfectly. The Yankee troops rushed forward to Thank capture you. the bomb. But there was one small problem.